Hi, I'm Alice. I'll be periodically posting in this video journal to keep you all abreast of what's going on here at Minokin and teach you some things, I hope, about architecture. There's a lot of exciting work happening here that you don't get to see, kind of the prep work to our glass house project, and I'm going to let you see what's going on in the kitchen. To me, the structure of the building is a lot like the bones of a body. This week, we inspected the bones of our house, the timber skeleton that all the parts of the building are supported by and which forms the general shape of our structure. The house was surveyed by architectural preservationist Ward Booker and Nikita Reed of Encore Sustainable Design. They were inspecting our wooden timber structure to determine exactly which pieces are still salvageable and what sort of repair can be done to recycle as much of the existing material as possible. Here they are inspecting the queen post roof truss. This is the main support system for the roof of the building. And here's Ward standing in the place of where our queen's post should be. The truss should look like this. It looks like a rectangle inside of a triangle. The rafters meet at the top to form the roof line. The base of the triangle is the tie beam. Then there are two posts which mirror each other and are joined by a shorter beam called a straining beam. When you have two parallel posts like this, it's called a queen truss. If there was only one post going up the middle to the highest point, then it would be called a king truss. I think they probably used the queen truss because our roof has an extra bend in the top portion which is called a hip. It's kind of like another pyramid crowned at the top with a slightly different angle. So now Her Royal Majesty's truss will be examined and designed to support the reconstructed house to be. It's really amazing to see how important the engineered design was to hold up the rest of the building. Then these wooden bones have to be able to integrate with the stone skin and brick interior walls and wooden floors to put our house back together again. That's it for today.